Welcome to Social Allo Ministries, where we are committed to glorifying God while exposing the devil. Just want to take a few minutes to discuss those who may try to entrap you, to include using lies. And I'll start with Luke 20, verses 19 through 25. And the chief priests and the scribes, the same hour, sought to lay hands on him, Jesus. And they feared the people that they perceived that he had spoken this parable against them. And they watched him and sent forth spies, which should feign themselves just men. So they were going to pretend as if they were righteous, while they had unrighteous motives. That they might take hold of his words, that so they might deliver him unto the power and authority of the governor. So they were just there following Jesus to entrap him. Hmm. And they asked him, saying, Master, we know that thou sayest and teachest rightly, neither acceptest thou the person of any, but teach us the way of God truly. So they're saying these sweet words, in a sense, to butter Jesus up for him to lower his guard. People still do that today. Is it lawful for us to give tribute unto Caesar or no? But he perceived their craftiness and said unto them, Why tempt ye me? Show me a penny, whose image and superscription hath it? They answered and said, Caesar's. And he said unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which be Caesar's, and unto God the things which be God's. Give to Caesar what is Caesar, give to God what is God. Now remember, that is what Jesus said. But when we flip to Luke 23, 1 through 2, this is what later happened. And the whole multitude of them arose and led him to Pilate. And they began to accuse him, saying, We found this fellow perverting the nation and forbidding to give tribute to Caesar. If I had a sound effect for record scratching, it would have just gone off. I'll read it again. We found this fellow perverting the nation and forbidding to give tribute to Caesar, saying that he himself is Christ a king. Okay, let me flip back to Luke 20, verse 25. I'm going to read it again. And he said unto them, Jesus, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which be of Caesar's, and unto God the things which be of God. But by Luke 23, it turned into, We found this fellow perverting the nation and forbidding to give tribute to Caesar, saying that he himself is Christ a king. Ladies and gentlemen, if people will lie on Jesus, the Son of God, they will lie on you. They will tell a lie on you to advance their own objectives. The men who did this, they were claimed to be holy men or representing holy men, yet they had ungodly motives. The same thing happens today, where some people are not who they seem to be. But whether they pretend to be righteous or unrighteous, just be careful for those who will attempt to ensnare you. But remember, darkness cannot overcome light. And when someone tries to destroy you with, the, with lies, the truth is far more powerful. So what do you do? Keep telling the truth, because the truth will set you free. God bless you.